Okay, I think this is a good move. Let's go with that. Attacking the queen can't be too wrong. Exchange queens. Nope. Okay, let's go with this one then. It's a bit of pressure on the king. Can't be too bad. Let's take the knight off the board. And uh, let's develop the knight. Could castle. Let's castle. I think castling is okay. Knight's got his eye on this pawn here. Well, let's just develop here. Done a bit of a lazy man with this particular pawn move, but we don't want it um, winning any secret prizes, so I think that should work for us. Bishops opened up diagonal onto the king. Mm. Space and space, space. I'm going to do this move first, looking for the knight to jump here, attacking this pawn. That looks interesting. Maybe they're thinking about going castle in on the queen side. So this dark square bishop's a bit blocked in. If they do, kind of spoils this particular move, doesn't it? I suppose they could attack this pawn here with the bishop. And he's actually um, defending on that area. So he, he knows we're going here, so he's actually bought that. So if we went here, he takes, pawn takes. We can defend our pawn by pushing here. Hmm, or we could attack the pawn. Can something defend that? Knight can't defend it, he'll have to push down. So we go here, he pushes down, we take. Knight's defending. May as well just bring the bishop and attack this pawn in the meantime. He's giving this um, knight for free. Or does he get some sort of compensation back? Nope. I don't think so. And now they've gone really fast. I think they're kind of upset that they've given the knight up for free. Let's just bring the knight back here. It's going for lazy man again. So we could take the pawn. Or we could push up and not not do the lazy man. Let's block the lazy man. Scud missile. So uh, yeah, it's moving really fast now, so are they landing on anything? Knight could come here and attack the bishop. The bishop's blocked in, so we could actually win some material there. Let's attack the bishop and get that bishop. It's a bad bishop though. This is a good knight. Do we really want to do that? <coughs> or do we swing back around and attack the rook? Yeah, they know this as well. So I'm going to swing back around and attack the rook. Attacking the bishop, bishop's got defence on it, so the knight can again attack the rook, but then we could go backwards and forwards with this and it'll be like a repetition type thing. So we could take and then his bishop takes, or we could push on to the rook again. A smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. Knight's on this pawn here, so if the rook moves then we can actually take the pawn. 
Yeah, take the pawn on the bishop, but it's the bad bishop. I don't think this is a good bishop. It's doing quite a lot of stuff. Just imagine if we'd have taken that bishop off the board, this knight would not have been able to do these types of maneuvers. So it's something to be mindful of when you've got a good knight, not necessarily to, oh dear. And we get his rook off the board. And they've resigned. That was a very interesting game. I think one of the lessons for myself is remembering the fact of not re not releasing a good knight for a bad bishop. 